to and so forth. And so this is to the chain of evolution. Today, osteometry. Osteometry is successfully used in the section of culture, sex, and race. And these are the parameters that sex, race, and the big cause of anthropology. And how we do, first of all, is for race determination. If all those who have in my first, I have touched this, we determine race, the mathematic uh, calculations or the indices. So it would be a revision for them, but those who do not will start that. And I told you, race could be very easy by seeing the cephal index or the lineal index, breath and all three names are the same thing. And they ask, in the skull, okay. This is very important. Sometimes it is in the beast too. It is the cephalic is used for. It is to take the cephalic index, the mathematical calculation done on the skull. And how to calculate it? Maximum of the skull transversely and divided by the mentioposterior divided by 100. This also do the maximum. It was the breadth transversely across the skull just above mistrosis and maximum to posterior from glabula to the occipital protuberance and this is take mind you stay by the help of kelp this cannot be done by away by means measuring tape okay so this has calculated by this this is it is shown photograph of the uh, breath taken trans breath just above the mid to the other story, maximum transmitter, how to begin. This is shown on the live, but uh, the person is but usually are taking it on the skull of a dead body. Then, thing to that, we divide into three, four techniques. The one means of which the result, we can just uh, place it in degree of the lipophilic or the did this all done so this somewhat like a for you all a skull we termed a cephalic or long headed cephalic in just between 70 and 84 point and examples of is the negro the aborigines usually do not call them black or what you call them aborigines the mizetti stick or the long headed skull in the cephalic in ranges between 25 to 17.9. Example are uh, Europeans, Pakistanis who fall into the category, Chinese. So, the cephalic round handed when the cephalic index is to 84.9. Example are the goals. And there's another category by term for breaking when the cephalic index is 80 or more. And usually, the people who fall into the category of imbisa uh, the uh, main example this is the apo syndrome which the genetic abnormality the large of skin mutations or those people low iq they have abnormality considering so fall into a cephalic cephalic index five or more this table will do uh, we have just did this is the table so if you please can go and memorize it would be very easy you the same we have discussed has been formed in a tabulator. So this I'll go for a second that you can see you can take in short and then you at the time of your exam and it will be easy for you to raise these okay. Then this is the diagrammatic representation the dolly long headed one you see the length then you can still one the what in between to the brachycephalic is somewhat in shape. This is a diagrammatic. This skull thing that how the headed one, the thyroid, you can see it is the example of the cephalic, the asoid, the uh, uh, sun is falling to it, is the, some in the middle in between, and then the thyroid somewhat round shape. So also you the difference of all three together in time. Then comes a bone in determination. One more which I add is uh, 
is not in a uh, slide is the determined ways you to see two code indices that is the nasal index and the index the nasal index can be calculated by width of the nasal aperture divided by the height of the nasal aperture in to calculate the index the height in can be calculated by the height of the skull did by the length of the skull in hundred also you whenever you take to please have a copy or a pad whatever in a pencil or so you down any little things tell you and it's not on the slide because i'll be from the exam view from the piece point of view from the point of view this you can note because everything is given in this so in the nasal end and the high which also means the ray okay and this is very important in this but the important be the one we discuss that is the state index or index or the cream so out these that most important or other nasal index, height index then you can see by the shape of the it's in the nasal in the pads also we put you in the previous slide i took the like first day the they have orbits which are triangular in the your triangular and colloids which rounded in shape the nasal is also in black in european narrow colloids is rounded the palate is rectangular shape in black european some triangular and colloids hot shaped so some of the dices feeling then the uses of the long may help in identifying bias of the break index which is known as the radio index to this one by inter index or the film index neural index your film index is you have just a memorization of things and you remember the particular index used for determine ray sex so it is used this is a in a tabulated form so you can be easily take short and you be of helpful in that the index is calculated by the length of the ray divided by length of the human to 100 so you, your it is 7.5785 crural in taken by of the tibia length of the femur divided by it into multiple 100 indians 86 negroes 6. Point, europeans b.3 so you can see a difference in in the indices are dealing with the femoral index is created by the length of the gym by the length of into 100 for your 16 for negroes 724 and caucasians i think is not calculated to that extent so the data might be calculated so that it given here the internal index calculated by the length of the humerus divided by the radius and uh, length of the plus radius divide the length of the plus tibia 200 the european said is greater 70 because it is less than 75 so hopefully you can this in short and to remember i know the exact then long this is for detection of okay this all very it is given in a tablet so you can Time you can easily memorize. Remember it. The one is the is pubic. This is a important index, and it is so known by the name of Walsh index. So sometimes you see you use you by the name of one, and you say, "Oh, this is not being we we learned pubic." So this one in the same Walsh one in pubic index, and in the same. And how related in the length of pubis divided by the length of the scheme in may the to about ranging from 20 to 3 to 9 female 9150 then stick notch in this is all very important index and this is calculating we are dead infants and this gives a accurate estimation to and also is one of the most important in the assist where we calculate the have to determine Six. Okay, so pubic and static notch index are two important pieces. Notch in the width of the notch uh, divided by 
rate of the share to hundred. This comes to be a four to five inch and five to six inch female. Stern race is also one of the most important. One of the important criteria, not the most important. One of the criteria is kernel index, where it is calculated by the length of the room divided by the length of the body of the stern to hundred. Thirty-six point result in me. Thirty-four point in female. The corobasal index calculated by the breadth body of the Sacral vertebrae divide the breadth of the of the sacrum greater than forty males and less than forty females. Last, the sacral index is the, the transmitter of of the sacrum divided by the GL length sacrum into hundred. The range comes into less than hundred fourteen in males and females if greater than one forty. One more thing, which is again given here, is the please rule. One for what is a rule of one nine? The combined mid length of the manubrium body of the sacrum. Okay. Again, I'll repeat. Actually, one fourteen is the combined mid length of the sacrum and the body. It is greater than one forty five meters. Is termed as male. If the mid line length of the manubrium body is to be male, One forty-nine millimeters is a female. This is known by of Ashley of one nine in the sternum to determine sex person. Okay. Again, this is the kilotic. Okay. What is kilotic? This is about confused. I have a dynamic representation in the next slide. So first, read what kilotic index, and then you can see it better. Diagrammatic presentation says. It is you identify the soft skeletal, okay? When a skeleton and you identify out of this of a human skeleton, apply this kilotic and it is how it is uh, by the small part of the thick line divided by the thick part of the thick line. It is the kilotic anthropomorphic line tending from posterior aspect of the pectineus. Closest point anterior auricular mark. Uh, next slide for you. so you can see just above where it is six and seven, just above running above it, that you can hear and you how it goes, turns and goes towards the iliac and towards the. How this is the main, and then I'll give uh, definitely you can tell it what it is. Okay. So this is the extent. The posterior aspect of the iliac eminence showed you just six, seven, and then to iliac crest, the sacral portion, because the pelvic segment is prominent in female and the sacral segment is predominant in male, so the kilot may be used in sacral practice to identify the human little remains. Although, and you can see, it suggests liability matter because very, very. Deep. I'll again the diagrammatic. Presentation, even if uh, pelvis, then it's very difficult to measure along these lines. You have to make measurements, and uh, the friends uh, not that enough to measure it. Outside also, it is being, but again, liability that is audited by you. But it is an end. So when we have use it for possible, we have to know is used. Okay. Comes the topic of okay. One thing again is not on this, and again so you can just down the uh, fix time telling you in the theme you have to do the sex mathematically. Then what is the vertical diameter? Okay, the vertical diameter of the femoral head, the vertical diameter of the femoral. If more than forty millimeters, say the male, if it is less forty-five. Is a female, okay? Vertical diameter femoral head, okay? In the female, determine this. Again, the sex in the female. See the bicolor width. It is than seventy. It is more than only a. If it comes to than seventy four meter, most only female. Also, humerus. See the vertical diameter of femoral head. If it be more than five point millimeter, you can is male. 
if it is less than 41.5 meter, it is female. So, this is also a rough calculation by means of which you determine the sex where if you are skeletal, okay, or if you get a bone. Now, anthropology, okay, anthropology. Student, thing in the first asked what is the learn system. So, I took that uh, in the coming year will be discussed in detail. So, that's why I put it in the picture. What anthropometry? This system is adopted chief for habitual criminals. Okay, they specifically for criminals, not routinely. There are two systems by which this is laid out. Is the Bachelan or the Bachelan? Two is the Gulf system or the Gulf for the Dectalography. This will be doing in detail. Besides, there are other systems identified by the name of Gulf system or Scopy portrait path system. These are the four ways by means of we detect. So, moving on to the Bachelan system, Bachelan image. Then you can see his name after enter M. Fonse Bachelan, who was assistant in the criminal investigation department in France. According to he that the certain measures which are taken in of the various parts of the body. And he said these documents do not enter after the age of 20 years of age. That is, after 21 years of age, all measurements they become fixed or constant. And if the measurements different parts of the body, then they will be individual for a person and they, the measurements are not going to change, okay? The ratio in the size of different parts of another, so it varies in different individuals. That's how he's one individual be distinct from the other individual. It has three in the system. One, by means you take the descriptive data. Descriptive I mean, you take the color of the iris, hair, complexion, the shape of the nose, chin, ears, the photograph of the full face and head profile. In that you take descriptive data. Number two, record body marks. Example, or if it has more birth marks, or statue, you have to be present. Third is the measurement. In seeing and in seeing height, you take the measurement. You take the length and width of the length and width of right ear, the length left and the left finger of the left arm and the hand, the, the left uh, size of the, the toes, the span out stretched hand, okay? All information about some, say, the 11 years which you take, say you have 14. It's a slight way ranging from 10 to 14. You have these measures we have just talked about in detail. And Information is added on car and kept in special, especially cabinets, and only when still now. Now, because of this advantage or the drawback that we have with this array, because one thing the advantage being it is applicable to persons 21 age, so you get a person 21, you apply this system you require to train bar and instrument. It is very consuming, it's a very lengthy procedure, so obviously chances of this are greater. And all the nowadays by uh, this is now by the print system, which is far more superior to this. And, uh, the only element which has made as a rule now other than the way. That is only two things we still take in the way. Otherwise, most of the things keep and it's just uh, of knowledge that was being used and was taken. And although, you know, the one who invented, he said the, against any persons being the same measurement is in show of one to two, eight, six. So it was that specific, but I can see the proof that is such a time consuming fallacy that is not being used. Okay. So this. Bertillon system for the Bertillon name. And easier method for the height of the person, only if you just one available to you in cases related is by use of osteometric. This osteometric boards you remember 
whenever you measure the length of the long bone, any other irregular bone also, usually the long bone is taken. The osteo board is used as a special board by means of to place in between it and you see the measure it and are uh, given, things are given on the sides by means of can specifically measure length of the board. Okay, osteometric board is used, all bones are drawn according to their anatomical position, placing the bone in anatomical position and measure the length. You measure the length and then you multiply it with a factor which is known as multiplication factor. This multiplication factor specific, the constant factor, which is constant for the bone, we'll give constant factor on the next slide, it remains constant for any bone. Specific for individual bones, so we get height skeleton. When you get to have to add one to one five inches, uh, give soft tissue to the scalp, and the, you have to get, uh, measure because you are measuring this uh, in a skeleton, um, in a which is skeleton, uh, obviously a skeleton. So you have to one to one five inches for the tissue of the scalp, the soul, which exact the person. Okay. These are multiplication of some importance. This 5.3 radius 0.3 la steamer 3.6 tibia into the 4 and clef 11 point. So how you get, for example, that one femur is found, let's its length is about 20. So to multiply what's the certain factor for you can see in this 3.6. This you approach. 72 or six feet. Six, six feet, like we said, at one inch for soft tissues and soles, get six feet one inch would be the exact height of the person. And one inch is the soft tissue scalp. And so this is how you measure that roughly the bone, you would say that this was the height of the person when he was alive. Okay. Then comes galtonate system or Geography reference. This is also very important part of detecting the like the to determine the individual is is the living as in the dead. This is obviously the surest of identification between the principle that they are papillages on the balls of fingertips. Individual peculiarities pattern are absolutely constant persist throughout life. Infancy to age. They uh, two persons each other, and the fingers of two monozygotic twins are similar. So, e this is even more than that uh, the DNA problem because so the uh, even twins uh, get a similar finding in mono twins, you can get a similar finding. But here, the geography method of infinity, even monozygotic, uh, they do not have the same similar fingerprints. This was by Edwin. Okay, the Edwin card was a porous one. Okay, so like we said, and advantage we'll do the advantages. What are the advantages of these methods? Like that, it is the sign of identification because the parents are present since birth and they remain until death. Even they are present in the intrauterine. While intrauterine, life, the print can be detected. Okay, so this is that. Um, say it is till they remain permanent, they are totally destroyed. If, for example, you don't get hand at all. So, of this, parents are present on the epidermis as well as the dermis. So, for example, the epidermis, the upper most layer is caused by some knee. You can get the result of the dermis, even say in the body. The, uh, uh, pure body or mutilated, even if the, uh, in cases of drowning or in cases of birth, if the person is because of worries and it decomposed body, what you get in the decomposed body, the skin peels off. You get the um, uh, the de of the skin. Even de glove, you can just place in ten percent It up a little and hard, and then you. We take the print, and like we see, even in the which is immersed, you take it out, you and then harden it by four, and you can get 
that. He, the, like we said, the epidermis is off, can get the dermis. So that rely. Visual criminals, they have a habit of, you know, uh, they send, if we, okay, you call some criminal notification, he has done uh, any measures taken that he may not be by the hand paper or uh, as if corrosives to then also you can take it out some time. It takes time for the ridges to reappear, regenerate, but after days you can do so you can get he's trying to hide identity by these measures and easily two days you can in a him and take the finger because of that. So they use these ways and so so the other advantages of obviously the uh, he's a, a normal person or a person who uh, habitual you can visualize that the uh, person that he's in procedure no special instruments or treatments and is requiring prints because the magnifying is needed we see how the procedure takes place when by means of a um, magnifying because kept easy comparison every time prints can be from one to another throughout now is a, a data by the name of FIS, a capital A F I S, which means automated fingerprint uh, identification system through this it's rapid the compare and identification in minutes as compared weeks or months was used in the functional tool search. So this that is now being used and that is collected. The only thing said simple training, simple magnifying class for the record classification and matching and computation of the very easy. So this is the main advantage of taking. Now how to take this? The third consists Taking embrace the bulbs here and the thumb, printing on paper and examining with the lens. The methods take fingerprint one method and the rolled in. In you just the printer, uh, you just press your thumb on the ink, take an unlike paper, just dab or press gently ink surface tip of the finger of the paper. It, that you take the impression. Rolled impression is taking I think the ink paper, ink finger on the ink pad, and you have to take it between the two nail degrees. You have that much that was the two nail bound of a finger. You know, they place it on the and you just slightly roll it from side to side. Just roll it, get a rolled impression. Advantage is you get a better surface is covered or uh, or your finger emission in a roll impression you get. Okay, so this and that you get roll impression set covers a large area. It is spread while thumb impression is the thumb or uh, thumb in nail right thumb in nails is you. Now the various patterns you see in the prints are uh, there are four main to see. Pattern and so which you can see by pattern the individual belongs to that means of which identify you can determine identity. They are just but for just the five people um, pattern into arches. Loops most common and the most commonly found in individual here written as six, but I would say range is sixty and seventy percent of the people have these loops found. And you get prints. The words here it is you have to see there's a slight mistake in that girl pattern is 35 percent. It is not written in front of the opposite, but this is the word was five percent people they have this pattern. The composite are found only percent of the people they are going to the uh, uh, they have this you can say comp compound. The arch. In the arch is said the one the arch is the person belonging the ridges then from one side to the other taking a back you know this is a very interesting thing because when we used to take the very interactive 
in the classroom, we tell everyone we had um, a, a hand with me and to see, okay, check out what pattern you have. And uh, if people put the hand lens, they do so with the fine lens and even details to pattern they belong. Then we used to have a lot of a practice that this paper we had that thing, uh, that impression on the paper. So everyone could what they what they belong to uh, categorize. So the loop pattern, the pocket for the ridges, the switch with the thumb, little finger. Okay, the ridges the towards the going towards the, the little finger. Oops. But downward towards the uh, thumb from the finger. Then the finger is the thumb finger. Then they are the radial and the, hello. Hello. And they are known as loop. The loop is downward slope, the little finger known as the Pearl pattern and this run in a circle form around the central core and the world consists three things, which is a central intersection is deltas. These are the world deltas which fall same straight delta. Delta is formed form in a single case. But they are two running and there is an abergent side. I wish I could have shown you genetically. You have to remember recurrent work. One which makes a in one direction, and then in the opposite direction. Compound it means above three petals, arches, nodules are found in the same impression. Then what is the system? It is devised by Edmund Locard, and the principle being that thread glands are the open pores of the finger ridge. They present in the palm did with both, which are mouth thread gland. The very Cape position number, they usually vary the number of 18 pores per millimeter the of pores are there. And this is useful when a small element of a finger or a palm is available. Then you use the poroscopy to detect fingerprint. Okay. Type of fingerprint. Fingerprint, print, like we said, the palm and the hand soles of the feet, humans bear chin ridge, the dermal cones on the tip of feet, a number of basic patterns. The ridges told you first time uh, the 16th week try you try the formation completed 24 week of intrau right and from then onward in constant the embryon birth and the life of the individual fact are responsible the distinct pattern, the genetic digital movement and all that loss of finger temporary fingerprints occur maybe the swelling fingers by a bee returns when swelling received. Then the permanent end of the finger particularly in, should involve it one to two meter area beneath the surface so you can have permanent the fingerprint. The impairment is because of leprosy, electrical in post radiation exposure that dermatitis. Now one thing a little different there is sometimes a temporary loss eczema Echinosis, like celiac sclerosis, and dry and thick skin. The variation. There is a temporary variation, size and pattern. The four. Permanent variation occurs usually in electrical and post and exposure like this. The then deliberate one I told you with a criminal so the chance of can be achieved burns, acid, and plastic surgery. Is just temporary arrangement. Pharmacologically, by anti drugs, you can have an effect of treat with called caffeine. You can have sort of uh, it is of the uh, fingerprints. Profession crushes this. Then the different parley system of identification this system. The front view, side view, photographs of the faces of all national criminals supplied, all internet. Airports and see so that a suspected criminal escape from affected country. Okay, so a system used for criminal usually. Footprints and of a photo left on the site of maybe help identifying criminal 
at the time of the you have countries print of the new taken so as prevent exchange children and records in most of the footprints of the personnel because in it is the body and full of in preserves of the long uh, the dead body the fingers counted out to the prints by injecting oh, if you get a pose or mutilated body died or mummy body the skin how can you donate and the fingerprint by subcutaneous injection screen treated perif or fingers little time in an alkaline solution print you obtain from this if like the epidermis lost by skeletal section of depth of 6 mm finger pad so prints are stick prints these are finger on the soft is such as wax paint or chalks they are like the three dimensional plastic hard surface are patent means visible or latent which is invisible which can hard see visible or patent usually form blood dirt paint transferred from finger or thumb surface print prints can be on wide variety of surfaces smooth surface or surface such as a cloth or non porous such as metal glass or written prints like they are obs- hardly seen they are formed when body is natural oils in skin are deposited onto another surface they are really visible they requires fingerprint powders they are specific testing powder you get chemical reagents like nitrate hydrin tin the sources all like sources by of which you may be printable the smoother and less a uh, surface greater the potential any lead present can be and develop these are the means of testing powders Last is the superposition. Means of superposition is a technique which applied to determine the skull is of the deceased person. It is a where you you play take what you do is to have a photo taken when the person was living to enlarge that of the of the excess which you take post mortem. Okay, and the two things that have of the which is enlarged. that of the and then of the x placed on top of the other. and you know superimposed this technique was supplied stand brush ruxton now i everyone in the net search for the ruxton cases then you can see it was a case in 1930s where this method was applied to to, to find out the criminal the person involved in the and this very interesting which you can see the net you can for it the technique for skull photo imposition then there is the parental identification through superimposition mostly used to be post anterior x this is how the negative x-rays skull superimposition analogic skull photo superimposition through three either just the photo superimposition where you take photograph you enlarge it and place the neck then you can uh, a video your video is one of and one of graph and pose in the and then the uh, image for the computer scissors to digital and be digital method the super in techniques can like the photograph again a fish prefer this unknown skull is for facial reaction anti mortem photograph as to life and transparent the is a just such a way inclination and orientation same as the head in the photo compass is required to obtain the positive identification this important and landmarks paid for to match to include the external auditory means the the nasal spine can point the end of the mandible psychomatic always have to match the negative positive to the photograph they were imposed on and these all factors discussed which with each other on the same thing on the same and the same then we can the disposition uh, techniques of which we can identify the individual more thing um, the people say for it say upon the positive identification this is towards the next identification that means it 
importance is towards the negative. If negative, you can say this does match, then will have importance in the of law. But then positive, positive, you have to be very an expert. You have to get the exact uh, measurement to do then and exhort a person. You can charge him the uh, crime. So it your hands this thing to prove or disprove. Okay. This this is done. How this is done? Facial recognition reconstruction. We said computer simulation. We have digital using a video with a program software and then the two image of a logical image processor. Okay. How it is done? Half and half. And to you and trace. This is just a small trace refers to evidence that found in small measurable amounts, such as the strands of fibers or cells on the crime means of we locate okay this is the person this is uh, the thing in case of sexual assault very important this transfer of material cement saliva hair occurs from the other this trace evidence of importance it is applied in cases of sexual assault and things where you can look at excellent to the or the victim excellent the excellent victim board to scene of the crime non biological material scene of crime the excellent and the okay identification of evidence again biological evidence biological the biological evidence it's from an animal of source and mainly body body and other biological materials human from the head and the tube scrapings under surface nails which can epithe of skin of the victim posited physical or sexual assault okay biological items of persons and from the environment and bodies this person like clothes his purse such other things okay. or the environment materials are found on carpet in the particles from This evidence is on the principle known as this is very important because it's known as the local exchange principle. Whenever you have to do local principle exchange, people says whenever things come in with the other, there is always transfer of material from one to the other. Okay, this cards exchange principle and cards just if this was at the first time not important, but the is important is the Lord gave two prayers. Every court leaves at one change of prayer, usually a way process. So that the cards principle. Okay, and this is it. So I'm the this part key of the identity. If you have any regard, you can ask. Camera. Okay. Is subjective method you only for identifying individual objective only for the individual? Oh, you know, subjective method, like I said, was determining through the morphological data, physical acts. Okay. So that's how you can see giving. You can also in, but the objective method usually. More beneficial, obvious. If you have, like I said, on the, okay, okay, you can get in the living, like I said, living and all. But usually, the objective data is the mathematic statistics dealt with. The mathematic indices, or like we, if it is beneficial, where we have, where we get the skeleton or the remains decomposed. So mainly the method of 
identification is just like I said, discussed today, that if you just a bone, will you identify person? Okay, you so like I said the object is more beneficial if you get a decompose, uh, decompose or mutual body or fragment, while the other so that can be utilized in both. Okay, repeat what what uh, diameters of femoral head, humeral head. Okay, femoral or the head you have realized it because it's not given in the book. So I'll just read it on the femur if to determine the sex. The vertical diameter, the femoral, if it is 47 meter male, it is less than 45 millimeter female. Okay, in the femur. The biconduct width is more than 8 meter. It is more only, you can say, it is less than 24 meter, more certainly female. While humorous, see the vertical diameter of humoral head. If it is more than 45.5 millimeter male, if it is less than 41.5 millimeter, it's a female. Please repeat the, the okay, I've done that. I've uh, taken. So you would uh, head down or whatever. So any more because uh, the time and have a fourth coming up on Friday. So if you have any questions, bring uh, all these three. Parts, you just say we'll go because I think the fourth is not that expensive. Hopefully, in the we'll be taking you be, uh, taking up the questions. Well. Uh, I. Uh, and the class, please. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Thank you all for attending.